Oh god, what happens now? <clears throat> I'm already pressed for time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Well, we haven't found these and 20 million others, so. I wonder where they are though. I mean, I I feel like I have uh, searched everything thoroughly. I mean, you have seen it. I, I'm really looking into every single corner um still i managed to miss out on a lot of them which is a bit sad yeah yeah Ignis, right you didn't find uh, all of them either you're sticking your nose what? everywhere again wow what's the matter with him excuse me monsieur oh. i don't follow you i haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal why what are you talking about i am talking about what you are doing this conference is me. going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? I'll have to cut this short quick. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Make him see sense. No, we're not going to hit him. I don't know what you're going on about, and I don't have time for this right now. Don't think on getting rid of me so easily, Derichet. Where have you been? Manipulation. Let, let's have a look, let's have a look. Bonaparte is immune to conviction and immune to politics. To manipulation, we don't know. Since we have only one chance, I'm gonna drink a devil's thorn. Okay, this should be fine. Did Lord Mortimer tell you you could trust me? Yes, So, but... I'm working for him right now, and you're wasting my time with your questions. I... Look, if he hasn't taken you into his confidence, then you shouldn't know yet. I'll soon figure out what you are up to. And I am convinced that you have indeed robbed Mortimer. The game is up. Give me what you took from him. You know, this is becoming an obsession with you. Show me what you are carrying, or I will call the servants. I mean, we ha yeah, I just wanted to have a conviction politics, yeah. This is diversion. Diversion should be fine. Give him another rare object. A rare manuscript. The architect's notes. The lodestone? Golden elixir? <laughs> I don't know. The lodestone. Very well. Fair is fair. You've exposed me. Here. This is what I took from him. Look, I'm sorry. I acted on a bizarre impulse. I don't know either. And frankly, you have disappointed me. That said, it is not as bad as I thought it would be. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm glad that things have been cleared up. So, are we finished here? Indeed we are. I shall leave you. That's right. Go play somewhere else. See you later, monsieur. Oh. Come on. I have to hurry up and join my mother at the wharf now. Mm. <laughs> oh my. Probably at the end of chapter 5. We will need the lodestone to be coming out alive of in all of this. <laughs> Bonaparte will have it. <laughs> oh my. Well. It is how it is. Oh damn, he scared me though. Oh, I'm not I'm not prepared for the jump scares in this game. Seriously. It's not cool. Mm. 
Okay, so sometimes there are books appearing somewhere later on that we have searched already. Fair enough. Oh. We haven't seen him in a while. I know we shouldn't, but... Am I disturbing you? Monsieur de Richet, it seems you are everywhere. At least he hasn't noticed my arm. Was Mr. Von Volner able to help you? Help me? Yes. For your armillary sphere. Oh, yes, that. Louis, everything all right? I, yes, yes, <laughs> excuse me, I, I was miles away. Oh, while you're here, you wouldn't know who the last guest is, would you? What do you mean? I heard Sir Gregory speaking about it. A certain... Al Asif, something or other. Who? What? Obviously I... not. It's not important. Forget it. No, no, no. Hang on. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you. We'll find out soon enough. I'm in a hurry right now. I, I'm waiting for someone. Uh, see you later, Louis. Oh, shit. I haven't time either. See you later. You're reading a book. I'm in a hurry. You're reading a book. You are so not in a hurry that even butterflies sit down behind you because you're not moving and barely breathing at all. Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> um, yeah, this is definitely the reason why we haven't found anything. I mean, look at this. There wasn't royal jelly here before. I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's... Uh, that's sad. Should have investigated more thoroughly than... More than... Before... Ah, Louis. Perfect uh, timing. As yeah. luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Hmm, sure. Can, can I run or can I, you know, I have many golden elixirs. Can I, can I throw something at your head? <laughs> Come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. I wanted you. Yeah, you want me. Now you got me. Collectibles other than uh, no collectibles other than books are there all the time. Really? I mean, books certainly not. That book was not there before. I would give this ninety nine percent. Um, but that royal jelly? Were we full when we saw that? Hmm, not sure. Anyways, okay, we know nothing about him, so we need to use Devil's Thorn. <laughs> Immunity to signs, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Devil's Thorn it is. Oh no, you're ha- Damn it, no! So that's it. She is prepared to use you. What do you mean? It wasn't enough for her to lose her hand. She had to make you lose yours too. I cannot permit this to continue. Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, and I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? Hmm, let's hear him. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. And he just gives this, oh, like, uh, what? He just dishes this out as if it was nothing.
You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. Speak about certain historical events. Sure, I want to know everything now. If I follow you, you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. Since this is probably his favorite subject. You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You weren't him, were <laughs> you? Oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was my father, though. Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? Am I dreaming? Oh, please, <laughs> tell me I'm dreaming. What? We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but... Yes, yes, he was my father. All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. He's the son of Christ. How can the son of Christ be a demon? Or is he possessed by a demon? Uh, <laughs> I have a big question mark in my head. Did you know ancient Egypt? Oh yes, yes. We were gods on earth in those days. What did men call you then? Amenhotep IV. The, the tenth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty? Ooh, I see you're a connoisseur, Louis. Impressive. What? Did you know ancient Greece? In many ways, yes. One day Pericles, the next Parmenides. Just the memory of the time I spent working on acoustics with Pythagoras. Well, it, it moves me quite deeply, to tell the truth. Pericles? He's the one who brought Athens to its golden age, isn't he? Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. He established democracy and then died during an epidemic. It wasn't so long after his two sons passed away. Isn't that right? Excuse me, Louis. I, I would rather not relive any more of that, if you don't mind. Can I hear that again? Oh, I can't. Okay, okay, okay. Did you experience ancient Rome? Oh, yes. Luxury and decadence, Louis. My family did indeed reign supreme, but from this period I retain only the works of my friend, Marcus Vitruvius Polio. So he was Caesar. An emperor. I've noticed that you have a passion for the Crusades. Among other things, yes. Mainly the Third. It was during the Siege of St. Joan of Arc that I took possession of Lord Mortimer. And you've never changed skins or bodies since? I have used other envelopes, but only to carry out very short tasks. Apart from that, indeed, I have been able to retain the identity of William Alexander Mortimer throughout the centuries. I'm just currently thinking about um, this short taking over other bodies thing. Couldn't that be what we do? I mean, we have these visions, right? But who, who says that we are not jumping from one body to another in that very moment? It was just visualized for us in a very depictive way. But I... I think... This theory becomes more and more... Realistic. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, you're a demon! Yeah, I'm... It could be. <laughs> this just yeah <laughs> okay wow 
Let's hear this one. This is weird, but you're the devil the incarnate. Devil? I'm not saying that all Judeo-Christian folklore hasn't served us, but the truth is, of course, something quite different. Please, don't look at us through the primitive prism of religions. I am not hiding any horns or goat's feet, Louis. I have no tail. Why do you bring up folklore? You mean that you've taken advantage of people's beliefs? No, not exactly. I mean that we, in fact, created them from scratch. It is amazing to see how mankind has such a strong need to believe in something superior to itself. It was very instructive for what was to come. <laughs> what? Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class. It's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> you can't choose your family. But it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are, because a large number of our kind remain hidden, or never reveal themselves even to us. Hmm. <laughs> What if we are one who never revealed ourselves to them? Ah, oh, this is so weird. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts That's of That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. Cool. That That's not scary at all. Mm-hmm. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we picked the police officer, right? The investigator, so... <laughs> let's pick this one. <laughs> of course you do. And you expect me to believe that, I suppose. Louis, demon Immunity. is just a word. It all depends on what exists beneath the surface. I understand that this isn't easy. The culture of men is centered on the fact that demons are responsible for all the evils on Earth. But if it's the same in every single culture, then maybe there might be something to it, don't you think? Certainly there is something to it. Control. Man has spent his existence wishing to believe in the supernatural and imposing his belief on others. What could be more convenient for manipulating the masses? A perfect, inaccessible being, and a plethora of demons in every one. The perfect idea to relieve men of all responsibility, while still finding them guilty. This is getting pretty deep. Psychologically and... Fundamental. Can you tell yeah. me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. Aha. Uh -huh. Some scars. That sounds interesting. You were caught by surprise when he told when he told you all of that too. You weren't expecting him to talk so soon at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I, he's pretty open. Um 
to us revealing all of this. So probably we will have to decide between the demons are cool thing and demons are not cool. Let's sign with our mother thing. <laughs> oh. Why should I trust I'm you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? Yeah. It's that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. What are the demons' projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. Okay, so they are, they see themselves as guidelines for humanity to prevent them from destroying themselves. Well, I mean, to be fair, humanity has some, has experienced some uh, urge to destroy itself. Um, that's interesting though. So this is why he wants to control everything. But what about the other demons? Do they want to do that as well? <sighs> what has my mother got to do with all she this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago to kill all the demons. <laughs> okay. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. We spent many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. He did it on purpose. He revealed his nature to her on purpose. The old book was Alazif, wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed, it was already Alazif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. But why? I would like to ask why Alazif? What, what does it have to do with all of this? How would you qualify your species, scientifically? Hmm. Good question. What is your area of expertise? <laughs> um, it's it's all bad. I mean. I don't know. Physics and biology, he would probably just say something like, yeah, not that much different from humanity. We have no actual form, but we can just jump. I don't know. So I, I would be interested in this one. Because this is probably the most vague one, but the most interesting. I'm going to pick this one. Let's Given see. the choice, I, I'd choose philosophy. So Consider us as an idea, Louis. We are but a word in the minds of men. But this word is capable of anything. Empires have been built on words. A word? An idea in the head of a mind. Interesting choice. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. Why conference? 
Opposing your war upon us? Yeah, but, I mean, interesting, yeah. Was von Borchardt working for you? Oh, this is interesting. Is there a connection with Elizabeth? Oh, yeah, also interesting. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences, and most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, they summoned the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? <laughs> I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. Makes sense, but... But how do you agree on global policy? Locally, we often have competing interests, and sometimes we start wars between men, which are linked to our disagreements. Most of the time, our father steps in and gives directives, which my family follow to the letter. Indeed, in my opinion, it is high time we moved on. What do you mean? I mean that a new era must begin. The old monarchic regimes are outdated, and it's time to evolve. Our father? That that means Christ is still there and sometimes tells them to do or don't do something? Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting though. I mean, if if Christ is still there, and he is somewhat, um, as he was depicted, like, helpful, wise and everything, then demons could be not that bad, right? I feel like this is... A little bit about seeing the greater good here again. Hmm. So, von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis, and with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with? What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of von Borchert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. Okay, so he was working for Mortimer, and I think... That... Oh, uh, so many, so many things uh, revolving in my head now. <laughs> um, so von Borchardt was working for Mortimer, and the Alazif is or belongs to his family, and Christ wrote most of it. Okay, interesting. Why is it so powerful now? Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. 
A family of demons is still a family. And as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though. Mm, no, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. Okay, so it's... So it's actually true. Elizabeth Adams is possessed or a demon herself of the Adams family. Okay. The voice in Elizabeth's head. It was you. It was my father, to be precise. <clears throat> the voice in Elizabeth's head was his father. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? He needs me. He wants to retrieve the spear. He needs the support of the Order. Pfft. I can see where he's going with this. He wants to retrieve the spirit, he can't... Ah. I mean, if we indeed choose the right one, this would make sense. Because it's a relic related to his father then. He needs me? He could just control us. What does it matter? Also, another possibility that I haven't considered yet is that maybe he gave us the visions that we have seen. I don't know if, if he's able to do that, but that's another possibility at least. Let's be logical here. I've got an idea, but it might seem strange. Trust me. Am I one? I mean... Am I a demon? Would you like that? There goes my theory. <laughs> okay, before we answer that question, let me prepare a little drink here. God. <laughs> what do I drink? Oh, um, it's it's a mix of um, it's past midnight. I can't I can say that. Um, of black vodka and cherry, um, cherry juice. Uh, well, to be completely specific, it's sour cherry juice. pretty tasty. Black vodka is um, very mm, subtle in taste. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I like sweet, sweet stuff, sweet alcohol. This is, uh, yeah, and it looks a bit bloody. <laughs> my theory let's do it would I like to be a demon I mean I played this game how I would react in these situations right I did not let um, Peru hit poor Elizabeth try to help her even though we had some quality time with Emily 
um, several situations where I, um, yeah, where my personal um, character uh, was shining through and uh, taking control. So, would I like to be a demon and do something good with it? Yeah. In that case... If we could do something good... Yeah. I must admit that the idea is appealing. We are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. I knew it! You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have yeah. manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No, stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Huh. Louis, I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Liar! Peru, what? Oh my god. Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. Ah, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. Like, he's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him. Okay, can, can we breathe for a second here? <sighs> okay, so... You heard it. That was my theory. Not so long ago. But it was my theory. And I was right. Damn. I mean, yeah. How, how else... Can you explain these these abilities, right? We can manipulate others. We can make use of knowledge that is ancient. All of this, it, it makes absolutely sense. That we are a demon. I just didn't happen to know that we are the son of Lord Mortimer. That is crazy. And I don't think he has a reason to... to lie to us. Yeah, maybe the Holy Lands. Maybe. But, I don't know. He's... <laughs> I mean, really, if he just wanted it, he could have tried to manipulate us. Or maybe demons can't manipulate uh, the others, but he could have all the servants going on us. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I didn't seem to be shocked about Sarah. Mm, well, it makes sense. If we are a demon, we are not the son of Sarah. Because... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Um, she is, she's no demon. She wants to kill every demon. I don't know why. She will hopefully reveal that in a bit. After we've dealt with Peru. Um, but yeah. I don't know. didn't shock me no I I don't know it, it was clear to me the second he said something like yeah you're a demon it was clear to me that this is made up somewhat somehow 
Okay, now we gotta deal with Peru. Oh god. It's gonna be nasty. I don't wanna die. Um Okay. Eddie Cat and Psychology. Not questioning. Let's see. Diversion. I'm not like Mortimer. Mortimer's lying. How can that you human dare to threaten me? I'd also like to know what's happening. Well, okay, I'm gonna use Devil's Thorn here. Um. Check. I've only just found out that I you can't hold that against. Fuck. Me. You don't understand. You're already in his clutches. Everything was set up to bring you here and reveal the secret of your birth to you. Open your goddamn eyes! You've always been under his thumb! So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? Okay, immunity. Manipulation. Make him believe that you already knew that. Let's do it. Jack, I can assure you that what Lord Mortimer just told me makes no difference. That's what you think. But you're already in his hands. And you don't even know it, Louis. No, Jack. It's the contrary. Everything that's been happening here has been carefully planned by the Golden Order for months. And everything is going exactly as planned. Lower your weapon. It's all right. It's over. You'll make it through. And you're going to get your life back. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it. But it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. If he shoots me, there will be no one to stop Mortimer. Your daughter will grow up without a father. Oh, this would be an... Oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know Mortimer very well. Demons will always exist. I would be a good demon. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Because this is... Oh, this could threaten him, though. He could snap, but shit. Ah! You're going to be held accountable, and you will lose every starting with your freedom, and then your head. I told you, I don't care. Not about yourself, maybe, but what about your daughter? It wouldn't be the same for her, would it? Shut up! Shut up! She will be alone, in a world that you know is hostile. What will become of her? I... That's true, but... Don't abandon her. Not a second time. It's your last chance, my friend. <laughs> it's over. Come now. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you, and not on your nature. Yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. Too shaken. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. <laughs> yes. You failed this confrontation. Oh. Okay. Okay. Please remember this. You got to tell me what happened um, to you by failing this after we have finished the game. Yeah. I want to know that. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah. My... You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. 
Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't the be thoughts afraid. of the others. I, I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. <laughs> this is... this is crazy. This is crazy. <clears throat> you can tell me now, actually. Okay. Waterboy enters in his head and he asks, uh, asks us what, do you want, what we want to do with him. We can ask him to kill him, continue to serve Mortimer, or to send him home. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Well, that's pr pretty drastic that you can kill him. Okay. I mean, he would have done that to himself if we didn't <laughs> intervene, but yeah. Um, I, would, I would break their spirit, wouldn't I? It would be a violation of their privacy. That I mean, this is obvious, right? But I don't think... Maybe these rules don't belong to us anymore. So let's, let's ask this one. But I'd be violating their minds, no, wouldn't no, I? No, nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You ah. can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. Mm -hmm. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear, what is most considered bad form is getting caught. So <laughs> I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Holm? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. <sighs> This is so crazy. You're now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlo interlocu interlocutors. Wow, that, that's a rare word. Each use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity. Two, by exploiting a vulnerability. And three, by consuming a devil's thorn. Oh, so Devil's Thorn actually gives us essence points now. Okay. Oh, well, this is essence, not focus. Essence points, okay. Earn one back when confronted to an immunity. Two by exploiting vulnerability. Three by consuming a devil's thorn. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, no way. We can try to read him immediately.
I want to do that. I mean, he's our father. He just explains everything to us. He wouldn't be mad if we just did this, right? <sighs> Let's do it. Let's see what Mortimer is thinking about. He's thinking he might not have been clear enough with you. When I told you not to try to read into Gregory or her experienced demons, it also applied to me, of course. You, you, you can hear me think? Of course I can. I can sense you. For the moment, your mind shines like a thousand lights because you haven't yet mastered the art of concealment from the psyches of others. So, I give you a weapon, and the first thing you do is try to shoot me with it? If my intentions were evil, you would already be at my mercy. So be very careful on whom you use the talent. But this actually was good because, yeah, if if he truly had indeed um, something bad in mind, <laughs> literally, um, we would have found out now so he was honest with us and he wants to help us plus where's his son three strong arguments all right please and don't even I apologize my son you are far above that from now on now go one more thing if you want to know the truth about your birth Ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Whoa. Okay. It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. Yeah... <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> yeah. Now the notes are here and we've completed this. You give. Wow. <laughs> Great. Okay. I wonder if it's actually worth it to, you know, uh, grab grab some items because we are running a bit low on some. Oh. Ah, I think we're good. Let's go. Okay, we've never been here. Let's explore this. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one more collector's coin. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. I can truly read <laughs> not only minds but also the surroundings <laughs> oh my <sighs> well cool okay so we are his son um, will we live here now? <laughs> so many questions. Well, well. Let's find the answers to some of these questions. Confronting our dear mother. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's Emma. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Just want to make sure there's nothing here. Yep. Okay. What's up with Emma now? Oh, mother! 
Louis? It was an accident, I'm sorry. I didn't have a choice. She attacked me. I... I didn't want to hurt her. What happened? I was on the wharf. It was dark. She seemed to be preparing to depart. I moved closer. I wanted us to talk, but as soon as she saw me, she threatened me. I wanted her to explain to me in her own words what had happened to Emma. I had to know what happened, Louis. You understand that, don't you? Mm-hmm. Sure. This is Emma in front of us, and probably we can reveal it now. It's gonna be interesting. Is it really for him that you left me, Emily? <laughs> That's pathetic. Look, he still doesn't get it for crying out loud. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, bitch. Uh-huh. <gasps> we can kill her! What? Oh my god. I mean, I knew this, right? That it is Emma. I knew it. Oh, but still, this is so crazy. And she still tries to play with us. Oh! Yeah, I'm... I'm... I feel very... bad. For actually... killing... I wonder what would have happened here if it was really Emily. One lie, just kill it. <laughs> no. Ah, mm, should we? No, no, we're not gonna kill her. I said we're using it to be good. Killing her won't help us. No, I think it's better to let her suffer a bit. That would be, that would be best. So. Bitch. What? Louis, what's wrong with you? No, you are not Emily. Ah, that. <laughs> it <laughs> took you long enough to figure it out, though. No. Oh, I felt sorry for you when I saw you couldn't even recognize her, Louis. But what do you expect? It wasn't my fault. Was it perhaps that night we spent together after the conference that persuaded you that I was worth more than her? I... Oh. What? Oh, you still don't get it. The night of the conference? It wasn't poor Emily who paid you a little visit in your room. Oh, she was much too busy with Monsieur Bonaparte. No, that's not true. It was me, of course. I assure you, you got something a whole lot better. And when I think, she wasn't even armed when I arrived. Right, take a moment to think and meet me at the manor later. You're crazy. Now, now, Louis, don't push it. I understand your grief, but I won't put up with that sort of talk from you or anybody. Hmm. Really? I think it would be smart to read here because it could be that she's planning to attack us. And then we would have to act up in front. If he says one more word, I won't be around to satisfy any of his desires. If he says one more word, I won't be around to satisfy any of his desires. Does she really think I want to be satisfied? Like, by her? From her? Anymore? No? But I... You've lost your That's mind. That's enough. That's not how you talk to a lady. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> oh. But technically, she killed her sister. She killed Emily because she actually pulled the trigger. We held the gun, yeah, sure, but she made it trigger and shoot. 
She killed her sister. She probably killed mother. Emily pulls the trigger too. Yes. But Emily has to defend herself in this situation because Emma is pushing her. Right? I don't think Emily would uh, would have done that if it was not necessary. I really, really think that is true. So, the question is, I mean, she, she then killed our mother. <laughs> um, and now she's standing here trying to deceive us once again I mean she's she started a killing spree she's perfect at deceiving others strangle her I mean I won't forgive her either this is not let her go everything's cool this is let her go because I want to stand above that I don't want to be like that I want to be a good demon <laughs> Plus, it's actually satisfying that she knows that we know of the true identity here. I'm gonna let her go. We are better than that. Like to be alone, That's madam. All right, I'd rather that too. See you later, Louis. What? No way. I stopped Napoleon but apart from getting the lands, I had a discussion with Madame Godoy. I persuaded Jacques Peru not to shoot. I found out about my demon nature. I did not arrive in time to save Sarah de Roche. Did we ask too many questions? Or was it because we had this um, little mind conversation with our father, with Mortimer? I mean, uh, hmm. I did not stop Lady Hillsborough from shooting Sarah de Roche. Well, I obviously couldn't. I did not find out about Sir Durache's lie. Well, this is all like um this is basically one big line. It's all connected. If we had arrived in time, we could have saved her. We could have stopped her from shooting and we could have found out think it's timed minute wise or oh, that would be insane that would be insane plus it would be the first time in this game right but yeah it could be damn hmm well Yeah.
me saw a playthrough after that. Okay. So it appears to be timed. Hmm. Okay. This was a very long episode. Um, this is only the end of the second quest, right? Four points available. Linguistics. Really can't. Doesn't really. I feel like it doesn't really matter. We're good in everything. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to read these two. 